We are here at Chana's first birthday.
Any first birthday wishes for Chana? Happy birthday! Happy Chana. birthday! Thank you for letting us be a part of your celebration. Awesome! Awesome! Thank you. Any first birthday wishes for Chana? Oh yeah! Wow. Happy birthday, first year! Thank you. Any uh, first birthday wishes for Chana? Yeah, 18 happy more coming up real soon. <laughs> awesome. Oh. Any, any first birthday wishes for Chana? Yes, I wish for you to have a happy life. Okay, become something someday. Balloon. And you know that uh, Mommy Nina and Daddy Nina will always be here for you. I'm gonna look for okay. them right there. And whenever you want junk food, come to Mommy <laughs> Nina. Okay, love you. Well done. And I just wanted to say happy birthday, Chana. I'm uh, really excited to be here and I'm really excited to see. Uh, how you grow up and uh, just remember you can be whatever you want to be you just got to set your mind to it work hard for it and it will happen for you so god bless you young lady god bless you tess any uh, birthday wishes for china i wish her all the best and um, i hope i hope that she grow up really good and healthy. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Excuse me. Any birthday wishes for Chana? Happy birthday, Chana. Happy birthday, Shana. 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 I hope you grow up to be a good daughter. Awesome. Okay. Any first birthday wishes for Shana? Good health. Great, awesome things to happen. And I hope she gets some really cool parents. <laughs> I think she already has some really cool parents. Yeah. I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Right here. All right. Thank awesome. You. Bye. Happy birthday, Chana. Yay. Don't let anybody get the the big money until I get mine, okay? You have to get the big money, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> so we can have a trip to Hawaii. There you go. There you go. I'm not. I said, look, I'm next. I'm not going to do it. You're not. <laughs> Lucas, you have to get that. Open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get the big money. Wow. We're now a little piñata here, so we're uh, just gonna pick. So we, we can go to Hawaii, Hawaii. Oh my goodness. Oh, Hawaii. Puta kay sa London Bridge. Tapon kayo doon. Hey! One million! Yay! Ati Ethel! Ati Ethel! Sige, 
Oh, she got five though. Wow. Nice. Congrats. My turn? My turn? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> different um, areas of a family dedication. The reason why I say family dedication is just not about dedicating Shauna to the Lord. It's about the entire family and the entire friends and family of the Roe family. So we are actually all part of this because it takes a village to raise a child. Amen? Yes. John, why do, you, why do you do that? <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty cute. You're super, super cute. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday. <laughs> so that statement is really true. <laughs> okay, so why do we do a family dedication? One is raising um, kids to know and love Jesus. It is a priority. That is a number one priority with raising your child. As parents, we get to be the disciplinary um, discipler makers of our kids. You will end up pouring into Shana's life. You will continue to help her become who God has created her to be. I like this. As parents, we get to walk out this journey where we get to look more like Jesus each day with how we interact with our kids, making the gospel attractive to them through the examples in our own lives. We want to continue to remember and remind us every single day we are an example to each other. How we walk and how we live in our relationship with, with Jesus has to be attractive because we want the next generation to be going, what is that? Why do you do that? And then they are able to ask questions and continue, right? So that's, that's it. So family dedication is committing your child and your family to the Lord because of the relationship you have with them. It starts out with your own individual relationship, and then it starts out second with your marriage. Where is the Lord in your marriage? Is He the center of your marriage? And the answer is yes, because yes. I know you two very well. Who's <laughs> the one doing her third wedding? We got married three times. Three times. The third. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Mice so, got it. Three things are happening during a family dedication. One, you as parents are going to dedicate Shana to the Lord. Second, you parents are dedicating yourselves to the Lord. You're committing that you will continue to walk through life knowing Jesus as a priority. And we, the church, the family, and the friends, we are committing to walk alongside and to continue to be there for one another. So, parents, are you ready? Yes. I got a whole bunch of questions for you. So, oh. if you agree with these statements, I want you to say, we do. Okay. Yes. And now remember, the, the we do that you're making is a commitment to the Lord. So, don't take them lightly. Remember, yes, serious. He's, he's created a gift between the two of you. She's a miracle. Yes. And he has entrusted you to raise her. No other person in this world gets the gift of child, but you too. You too. So to reaffirm your relationship with Jesus, making sure you have placed that number one priority in your life. Who is the number one priority in your life? Is it Jesus? Yes. 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 Deuteronomy um, 6, 4 through 7 says, Listen, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. 
And he must love the Lord your God, which is you. You guys must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength, and must commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I have given you today. Repeat them again and again to your children. It's not a one time, it's an again and again. Talk with them when you are at home, when you are on the road, when you are going to bed, and when you are getting up. So will you pray for Chana every single day? Yes, Will you instruct Chana faithfully in the te teachings of the faith? Yes, we do. Will you teach Chana to read God's word and make it intimate to her? Yes, Will you encourage Chana to pray and lead a life that pleases God? Yes, we do. Will you continue to take her to church to be able to worship the Lord and to help stay connected to the body of believers? And will you do all in your power to continue to bring Chana up so she is able to say yes and accept Jesus as her Lord and Savior? Because this is not creating in her a relationship with Jesus. This is stating that you, as parents, are going to raise her up in the ways of the Lord so she can say yes to Jesus. Because her relationship is personal, just like each and every one of us is personal. So family and friends, are you ready to get involved in this? Yes. 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 Again, I said it takes a village to raise a child. Obviously, this is already happening. <laughs> Will you, family and friends, promise to pray for Chana every single day? Yes. yes. Will you pray for John and Cindy every single day? Yes. yes. Amen. Ephesians 6, 4 says, Do not provoke your children to anger by the way you treat them. Rather, bring them up with discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. That is to each and every one of us. Because if we are a village raising a child, she is also going to be part of our personal lives. So we get to speak into her life as well. So it says, do not provoke your children to anger, but it includes building that child's positive self-esteem up. Every opportunity you get, pour into who she is, who God has created her to be. Bring them up. This word also includes to nourish, to nurture. The moments you have with her, provide that moment to be very intentional, to be able to allow her to see the Lord moving through you and how you love her. Discipline, this word also includes instruction, spiritual guidance, and training. Sometimes that's not all positive, right? Sometimes there is going to be a challenge and you're going to speak love into her life with grace, with mercy to help her continue to be built up in the Lord. And instructions, this also includes warning and encouragement. Now I love the word encouragement. Encourage her always with the word of the Lord. Not what we think we want to say, but what does God say? What does his word say? Amen. So it is our honor, and it is our joy to walk alongside you. Is everyone here in agreement that they will continue to walk alongside, to encourage, to support, and advise? Yes. Amen. Yes. And that word advice is very cautious. They don't need a whole bunch of people coming over. You need to do this. You need to do that, right? It's to walk alongside and love and to encourage them. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we are going to um, just pray over Shauna and also you guys as well. So depending upon how you guys feel comfortable, if you want to just raise your hand up, if you'd like to come over and actually lay a hand on Shauna and then with the parents too. So Psalms 127.3, children are a gift from the Lord. And how many of us say amen to that? Amen. 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 So Lord, we thank you so much for this time. And Father, I'm going to read scripture and then I'm going to pray through that scripture because we know every single time we come to you, your word just brings life to us. Your word brings correction to us, but your word brings more so. It's encouragement to the future. So we thank you so much, Lord. And Father, I just want to be able to just share with you the words from John and Cindy, from their personal prayer over their daughter. And it says, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for the great and awesome things you bestowed on us. Thank you for all the life lessons. We thank you, Father God, for the great miracles, especially giving the life of Shana. 
Thank you for allowing Chana to be his parents because we are so blessed to be her parents. We thank you for the village we have, our relatives, friends, that is um, just becoming family because they are so close to us, for helping us raise Chana. We pray every second, minute, and every day for her protection, always guiding her to the path that you wanted for her. Good health, and for everything, we pray for great and awesome things to happen in her life that she will be, because she will be your instrument to help others and be an inspiration to others. We surrender and lift it up to you, Father God. Jonna, as we grow in love together, and you as the center of this family, we dedicate her to you as you take this beloved Jonna in her arms right now and bless it. Laying her hands on it, we proclaim blessings over this baby's life, for this child belongs to you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, Father, oh, we're not done yet. We're going to thank the Lord first, and then we're going to pour a blessing over her. So first, Father, first, um, we're going to just thank him. We're going to thank him for his greatness. Psalms 139 says, For you in, you formed me in my innermost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb, and I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. O Lord, our God, creator in heaven and earth, we give you thanks, and we praise you for the gift of this child. We thank you for creating her in your image. We thank you for breathing into her the breath of life. We thank you for all you have created her to be. You know her plans, Lord, and we know that you have already provided her for every single one of them because this family is united with you. And I thank you so much. What I love is being able to see the generation of each generation pouring into the next because, Father, you will continue to allow us to do that. So we thank you, God, for this moment. We thank you for this moment in time so where we can pause in amongst a party, amongst a great eating great food and having great fellowship, that we can say thank you for the gift, Chana. And we ask, Lord, that you have your way in her life. Yes, You are her great Abba. And we thank you, Lord. So we dedicate Chana right now to you, Lord. And we ask that you continue to take out all the worldly claims that have been placed upon her or will be tried to be placed upon her. And in place of that, your holy presence will continue to surround her and to protect her. We thank you, Lord. And we know without a family, we could not do what we're doing. So we thank you for the family you have given us. We pray abundance of peace upon you. We pray abundance of yes. love upon you. Continue, Lord to use this child in a miraculous way because she is a miracle. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. What did I miss? I'll take your picture now. <laughs> take picture. First, no, yeah, girls first, and then boys. And have, well, we yeah, can have can you have have everyone. Okay. 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 And so you guys can actually go in and you read the stories of Jesus, and it points completely back to him. What I love about it is it has Old Testament, and every Old Testament goes back to the Great Rings. So, just a great poem. It's one that you can read for Okay, take picture. Read a little bit. Take picture. Oh, four of us. Four of us. Sorry, I have my glasses on. Say cheese. Perfect timing. One more. One, two, three. Okay, next. We can have a group. Just in the whole group. And then we have a. Yeah. Okay, everyone join. Come on, group. Okay, everyone join the picture. Come on, 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 yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody. Oi, the galoot is gone.
camera. You Hi. see that? Hi. Who Hi. is Smile. it? Smile. 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 Oh, pretty eyes. Pretty eyes. Oh, pretty eyes. Oh my gosh. Oh, pretty oh, my eyes. Oh. <laughs> my pretty wife ice. says her, her smile costs a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So expensive. You good? Yeah. <laughs> 